In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Yaloni Exit pop-ups on your WordPress enabled website. The first thing that you got to do is go to your WordPress dashboard and on the left hand side select plugins and add new. Then on the search bar on the uh, extreme right, type Yaloni Exit pop-up and hit enter. You can see in the search results that uh, Yaloni Exit pop-up. This is the pop-up that we are going to install today. So um, the next thing is to do is to click the install now button. If your pop-up has been successfully installed, uh, you should be able to see successfully install the plugin Yaloni Exit pop-up 2.0. The next thing we got to do is to activate the plugin and this is done by clicking activate. If all goes well, um, you should see Eloni Exit pop-up at the bottom of your plugins page. Now to actually use and enable the pop-up, we need to go and configure it in the settings page. So you can either click the setting links um, on your plugin page or on your WordPress dashboard on your left hand side, you can see this little shortcut called Eloni Exit pop-up. Click on that. So this is how the pop-up initially looks. Um, uh, let's let's take it like step by step on the very top you have on the very top you have an option to enable the pop-up or to disable the pop-up so um, your website shows the pop-up if you have enabled it and if you want to temporarily disable the pop-up you just have to click this uh, radio option and say save so that will not show the pop-up on your website so for now let's enable um, let's go to the step one. So the step one is to choose an exit pop-up. So currently there are three types of pop-up. The first one is um, pop-up with an offer. So that uh, gives you um, an option to add an image uh, onto the pop-up. The second one is the pop-up with social buttons. So that, um, that adds uh, the Facebook, Twitter and plus um, buttons on the pop-up and the third one is a completely blank pop-up that um, allows you to add your own HTML and CSS content for this video we are going to show you the first one that is the pop-up with offer so select on that um, so coming to the step two now we are going to configure our pop-up so if you see the screen is divided into two parts the left one is um, the left one consists of all the text boxes that you can fill in so the, basically that's the data that you give and the right side of the screen shows you how the pop-up looks in real time um, so let's start configuring it so this is the pop-up title um, and this is the text that will be shown on in bold so if you don't want anything you just have to leave it blank so right now um, Yes, I want something in here. Um, so this is the pop-up. So here is an offer and here I have typed it. So pop-up text is something um, that appears below the title, but it is in a very um, smaller case. So if you want to have like an explanation text, you can use this field. I'm just filling some sample data. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, um, coming to the image URL, you um, so this pop-up basically is an exit pop-up. What that means is that if um, this will just show up right before the user is leaving your website, so it will not show up when the user is crawling, or it will not show up when the user has navigated to another page within your website, but it will only show up when the user is leaving your website. So um, at that point, you want to capture your user's attention and uh, one of the very best ways to do it is to have an um, awesome and a catchy image. So something that the user will want to interact with. So, um, but so this is the image that I have chosen uh, and you got to enter the image URL in this field. So um, 
as you can see the image url has to start with http colon slash slash and end with a dot jpg or png or whatever type of uh, format that is now i'll show you how to add an image um, so this is what we have so um, on your dashboard if you see on the left hand side there is this media option so you click on it and open it on the in another tab and uh, so basically this is a place where uh, you add images onto your website so you can click on this add new button and upload an image so I have already done that and this is the image that I want so on the right hand side if you see this URL field you want to select this whole URL right click copy and come back to your WordPress plugin you don't need plugin dashboard and paste this URL into this field so if you have done it correctly the image should show up in its place uh, and this is the the next field is the URL to go to so for example say that the user um, your visitor is on your home page and he's leaving your home page and he, you want him to navigate to an offer page so in this field that is the URL to go to field you want to you want to give the URL of your offer page so this is the url of the page that you want the visitor to go to so again this url should start with http colon slash slash and the next uh, field is close text close text is the text that you got to um, that basically when clicked it will close the pop-up so this is the text to close the pop-up so uh, make it something catchy from my experience it would be nice if you can make it something so that uh, the user kind of feels a little bad clicking it so yeah yeah um, and the last option is uh, so if you are into Google Analytics and if you want to track how many users are clicking on this so that you can do a by B testing um, this is a f uh, this is an option so if you check it that means if you enable it um, your Google Analytics will show a campaign it will show a campaign on your Google Analytics dashboard that will show you how many visitors have clicked it so uh, for now this is it so just to give you a recap the title is what appears here the pop-up text is the little for little text under the title the image URL is the URL of the image the URL to go to is where the user has to go to after he clicks on the image close text is the text that will close the pop-up now all you have to do is save the changes and let's check it out if it works well on the website so this is my site so as as discussed I am scrolling the page it does not appear when I am scrolling the page I am going on the taskbar I'm navigating within the website it doesn't appear when I'm navigating within the website but the power will appear when I actually am leaving the page. So here it is. Um, so this is this is what it is. So the title, the text, the image, linked image, um, and the close text. So I'm going to click the close text, and it's going to close my pop-up. So um, so this is what the pop-up is. This is how you kind of set this pop-up. Um, the uh, moving on to the next pop-up it is the pop-up with social buttons so it's, it's almost the same thing except that you can add or remove Facebook uh, like Facebook share tweet and Google Plus options on the pop-up so remaining part is the same um, yeah so uh, if you uh, if you have any questions or if you have uh, if you need help with installation of the pop-up all you have to do is click on this need support at the end and uh, enter your name and email and click on contact me um, and me or uh, one of my team members will get in touch with you uh, now let's explore some additional settings that are optional uh, the first is visibility say that you don't want to you want to show the pop-up only once per user so you if you click this option that is show pop-up only once per visitor that will um, make sure that the visitor sees the pop-up only once the other option is show pop-up on all the pages and posts 
and uh, show it on few specific pages and posts. So currently the pop-up will be enabled on all pages and posts on your website throughout. Um, and if you want to show the pop-up only on a few pages, uh, that is a great feature that you can um, uh, get it for a very less cost and enable that. Um, uh, before we kind of close up, uh, there's one more last thing. Um, so if you can go to the extensions tab, there are, um, so I'm in the process of making new extensions, but currently there are two integrated, two uh, extensions that, that, are, that are premium and that you can add to the pop-up. Um, the first one is the blank pop-up that will give you an, um, a blank canvas that you can play around with and create your own. Um, and the second extension is what we just spoke about that will help you um, uh, uh, enable the pop-up only on specific pages and posts. Um, so that's all for now. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me. Um, and hope you have found this video useful. Thank you.